Well, let me just fix something, the lunch. I mean, a little. No, no, um, we'll pass on the food. Thank you. You can just get us a drink. Maybe you should speak for yourself because I think maybe the little girl is hungry. So. Oh, I said we will pass on the food. Or are you dead? Well, let me just stop. Um... Did you hear that? Sorry for what? Listen, girl, listen. You are the most rude human being I have met in my entire life. I'm only trying to help you. You look starved. I'm sure so so your entire village will never see the type of Sophia, Sophia. So I'm just please, trying to help your life. What is necessary now, Sophia? What is it necessary? Of course, you know what to do. See the idiots you have in your house. Can't you just act like you didn't hear nothing? You're losing heart to my daughter. Oh, please. This is not shut nice. Up. I said shut up. You know what? You are the most despicable gold digging freak hey, hey, hey. I've ever seen in my entire life. In fact, girl, you are a bitch. Insult me one more time and see what happens. You are a gold digging freak of a mother. Hey, hey. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm kidding you. Slap me. How dare you? Who do you think you're talking to? Baby. Okay, what's that? Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, Mama. Uh-uh. Hey, my artist. I sure you don't want to be an artist in the future. I want to be a doctor. Ooh, mommy's doctor. Okay, so let's name her. Let's name her. What do we name her? Um Princess Sparkly Hair. Hmm? Let's see, Princess. Um Twinkly eyes, right? Jesus, Vanessa, your room, your room, your room. Kenneth, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? How dare you barge into my house? You can't keep me away from my child forever. She is also my daughter. So now you remember that you have a daughter, Caleb. Of course, because you keep pushing me away. You never wanted me to be part of her life. Because you denied her. Caleb, you rejected her as your child. That's not true. Are you not tired? For Christ's sake, eight years is too much to deny me the joy of being a father. Get out of my house! No. Get, get out of my house! I don't know why you keep denying me from seeing my child. Um, okay. Um, uh, uh, I told you to go to your room. Uh, I'm fine. So and who is this man? I am your father. Anytime, go to your room. Go to your room. Uh, yeah. Get to your house. Leave. It's high time you stopped. It's high time you allow me to be part of my daughter's life. Oh. This is no longer funny. Caleb, get out. Get. Caleb, get out. serious in my life. I will come back again and again until the right thing is done. Get out of my house, Caleb! Caleb, get out of my house! What is it? I thought I told you to stay in your room. Oh, what is going on? Who is that man? Is it my father? What's the meaning of this? Please go to your room, go to your room, go to your room. Mommy, but he said he's my father. Benita, I said go to your room. You know what? I'm not even in the mood for this today.
Remy, what is going on? I can't even imagine. Caleb just waltz into my apartment demanding to see his daughter. What? After all these years! Ah, oh, God. And I've messed up. I've messed up. Like, I, I, I screamed at Venita. I, I broke a vase. What? No. This guy just makes me go crazy. He just, just makes me angry. You let him trigger you again. Why are you doing this? In front of Venita. Ah, oh, God. Where's Venita? She's in her room. Where did this machine pass? Have you cleaned it up? Baby, I'm so sorry I yelled at you. Me? Why are you so angry like this? And who is that man? Is he my father? Huh? No, no, no. He's a nobody. He but, is a nobody. But he said he's my father. And I'm telling you that he is not. Mommy, don't lie to me. Um. Okay. Okay, honey. Your father and I had issues. Big problems, eh? And then he left us. So why is he coming back now? Mm, please forgive him. Honey, he wants to take you away from me. Mommy, I'm not allowing to take me away from you. Yeah. Oh. oh, you know what, um, sweetheart? Let's just forget everything that happened today. Hmm? Just remove it and throw it out of your mind. Have you heard me? Just throw it away. Hmm? Just forget it. Moreover, Antiana is here and she made your favorite. She's here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on, you can see her. He just came in from nowhere and all the emotions I thought I had let go of just came rushing back. Like I was so angry, I shouted at Benita, I, I broke a vase. Calm down. <sighs> you still feel resentment for him. Look, he was delusional to think he can just waltz back into our life and, and, and claim a daughter that he denied. So how is Benita taking it? Not so well. She's curious. She wants to know who her father is. And what are you going to do about that? Look, I must protect my daughter at all costs. Really? Look, Venita is eight years old. And you won't be able to protect her forever. And your temperament. If this is the way you, you reacted in the sight of your ex, I'm sorry, you're yet to be healed. Carol, you need to let it all out. Look, I just don't want to name you my daughter. Period. That's what you want. What about what she wants? She will do what I tell her to do. For how long? I bet you it will be so long and you will be so disappointed if she goes behind your back to see this man. Okay, so what do I do? You may tell me what I do. The truth is, I can't tell you what to do. I can only guide you. But please, do not make a selfish decision. One step at a time, please. All right? There's a lingering pain, a battle inside. I love them to the stain. We shared a love once pure and so true. But now it's tempted. There's a love I once knew. But, Beef. How did you get your house address? Honestly, I don't know. He just showed up out of the blue. Wow. 
things. Like, and the annoying part is that he was claiming I want to see my daughter. Which daughter? Really? Yes. Yeah. What daughter? The same daughter he rejected. I'm telling you. Like, um, like, can you imagine? You made me drop out of school. You denied this pregnancy. My parents disowned me. I had to. I had to look for a way to fend for myself and my baby. Then all of a sudden, after eight years, you you now want to see your daughter. I don't do it. Just be yourself together. He's not getting anywhere close to the meter. Babe, I, I can assure you that. Babe, I am so pissed. Don't so worry. Calm down. See, I'm right behind you. We'll fight through this together. Eh? Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Dear. <laughs> but can we stop by the mall? I want to pick up a few things for Benita. Yeah, sure. Okay. <sighs> this is well. Our child, a precious gift, a love we both share. But the pain you cost makes it hard to be. I stare into her eyes, <sighs> so innocent and pure. Oh I pray for forgiveness oh as my heart endures. What are you doing here? Jesus! Baby, don't worry. Take Benita upstairs and handle this. Do you realize you can be arrested for trespassing? I'm here to see my daughter. Just woke up one morning and I remember you had a daughter, right? Huh? And you expect everyone to receive you with open arms? It's been eight years. Where have you been? Who the hell are you, by the way? The same person that will kick you out of this house if you don't live respectfully. Look, you're a man like me. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm just here to see my daughter. Spend time with her and I will leave peacefully. Clap for yourself. Cool story. Now, let me advise you, my brother. If this is your approach towards retrieving your daughter, then you're fighting a lost cause already. Have you ever come across that part of the Bible which says, No one commits to the Father except through me? Now, leave this house and never show your face here again. I should be the one to advise you to stay away from something you don't know how it started. You know me, I know you right now. I wouldn't want us to have issues. Alright? Get out of this place. Just get out and never come back. Venita! Leave this place or I'm forced to push you out right now. Get out of this place! Venita! Get out of this place! Hey baby! Hi. Welcome! How did it go? She didn't let me in. Ah, uh, why not? So baby, don't you think you should take this thing up legally? I mean... She's also your child. Vern, whatever her name is, she doesn't have the right to deny you access to your child. I know, I... I don't want to further help my daughter. I have missed out in so many stages of her life. I don't want her to see me and her mother fighting over her. I just want to take it easy, step by step, mm. till I get what I want. But well, it's obvious she doesn't want peace. Is it not best to give her what she wants? Yes. I mean, God, the way you're looking, come on. This makes you so unhappy, and I don't like to see you this yeah, way. I'm just fine. I'm okay. All right? You're sure? Okay, whatever the case is, just know that I'm rooting for you. Okay, baby, so just go freshen up. I'll make something nice for you. Alright. Alright, so. So. We shared a love once pure and so true. But now it's tempted. This love I once knew. Created a bond so strong and deep. But now it's unraveling. It's hard to keep. 
The ones I roll so deep to heal I struggle to forgive I struggle to feel What do you intend to do about your ex? Oh, he can break the gates for all I care, but he is not getting close to my daughter, no. Babe, that guy doesn't look like he's giving up anytime soon. See, if you ask me, mm -hmm. I think you should just talk to him. I should... What are you saying? All I'm saying is, you guys should just reach a peaceful res resolution. Are you not bothered about what, what this is doing to Venita? Um, okay, uh, Samuel, so can we change the topic? I don't want to talk about this again. Babes, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make a point. And I'm not interested in this point you're about to make. You're supposed to be on my side. Of course, babes. I'm on your side. I'm always on your side. See, all I want is a peaceful resolution to this whole fracas. Please. This guy is not coming near my daughter. He is not. Are you, are, are you angry already? I'm not angry. Right, I'm sorry. I struggle to feel. I'm sorry. I struggle to feel. You're dressing up, sir. You see, don't touch me. If it means taking my child and leaving this country, just so Caleb can't come near us, I will. I don't get it. He came here again? Yes! He came here again. I literally had to flee with my child. And let Samuel handle him. Okay, I think this is really getting out of place. It is really getting out of hand right now. You need to speak with him. What did you say? Just hear me talk. Listen to me. I'm not saying you should give in. All I want is sit him down, hear what he has to say. This man is getting, uh, he's getting out of hand. Whatever he has to say, I do not want to hear. <sighs> Remy, please. You need to calm down. Yeah, I'm begging you. Please. Okay, I'm, I'm confused at this point. Why is everybody telling me to talk to this man? Why? Has everybody suddenly forgotten what he put me through? I literally took care of myself and my child without him. He abandoned us. I dropped out of school so I can fend for myself and my baby. I almost died giving birth. So what is he here for now after all these years? What? He told his friend that he cannot be with a short-tempered short, short tempered girl. That he was just marking his time with me. Can you imagine? That's what what is he looking for now? That's why I want you to calm down. Please, uh, uh, um, Anna, stop telling him to calm down. Stop it. I know all he has done to you, I know. But this man is trying to trigger you. Can't you see? You don't want Venita to see you like this, do you? I... No, you don't want it. This is what he wants. He wants you to be angry. He wants you tensed. He wants you upset. And you're giving in? I promise you I'm on your side. Trust me. Remy, you know you can't always have your way, right? That closure you're running away from may be where your healing lies. I want to leave the country with my daughter. I want to go somewhere he won't find us. My dear, that is a temporary solution. Settle this once and for all. Listen, girl, you have such a sweet child. And that child of yours have a lot of questions buckled up in her heart. I do not want killing. Questions that you, Remy, are scared to answer. I do not want Kayla to get close to my daughter. And she can't get close to your daughter without getting through you. You are the source. And what you decide happens. Okay, you don't, you don't understand me. I do not want to communicate with him. I do not want... I do not want to talk to him. Then do it for Benita. You don't know how much she's been looking forward to this. She may not say it. Okay, you don't understand me. I do not want to see his face. I do not want to see Caleb's face. His face just 
reminds me of every emotion, everything I had let go of. His face reminds me of... No. It's okay, Remy. Stop crying. Why didn't he come soon? Why did he have to wait for eight years before coming? Why now? It's okay, all right? Calm down. Here. It should be all right, okay? Stop crying. I struggle to forgive. I struggle to feel. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. This was the reason why I did not want to meet up with him in the first place. The first thing he did was to insult me. Remy, this is why I keep telling you to calm down. How can you stop telling me to calm down? Can you? Like, look, if this guy gets a chance to speak to my daughter, he's going to badmouth me in front of her and turn her against me. I know it. Remy, you went physical. You're complicating things. You slapped him twice. It's like you're not listening to me. Your temper. For me, your temper. This guy is trying to manipulate you here. The few days he showed up, you have changed. Look at you. I think I'm going to keep Venita a little longer with me because I don't want her to see this. No. Get out. What? I said... Get out. Come on, babes. You, you need to calm down. You... Samuel, you two, out. And make sure you have my daughter back here first thing tomorrow morning. Samuel, please leave. Leave. I struggle to forgive, I struggle to feel It's hard to forgive When you tore us apart It shut up my heart I'll try to say the senses caught in the storm But I'll find the strength My heart to reform I'll try to say the senses I see this guy now. He's just coming to my life now. Everything is just upside down. Now I'm the bad person. Makes it hard to be. I stare into her eyes, so innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness as my heart. Can't be mad at me, Anna. I didn't mean anything I said yesterday. I was just, I was just in my feelings. And you shouldn't have brought Vanita back. I, I didn't mean it. Remy, I am not mad at you. I am worried for you. You are gradually going back to your old self. I don't want this for you. Please. Anna, everything is driving me crazy. And it's as if you guys are supporting him. Okay. You know I am with you on this. I know what you've been through. I don't want it to happen to you again. You know. My problem now is Venita. She cried all through the night, begging me to beg you to let her see her father. Please. I'm begging you, please. Let her see her father. Grant this wish for her. But what if he has an ulterior motive? An ulterior motive? Yes. Like kidnapping her, for instance. Then call the shot. Call the shot. Give him the time, date. Just... Call the shot. No, I don't I don't think I can do that. No. He doesn't even deserve to be a father to her. Okay. I'll let you think about this. Oh, my God. 
I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you were in my house. And how did you get my address? Well, I didn't intend for this to be a question and answer section. I obviously figured it out. And I would love you to tell me, how did you get Remy's house address? I thought as much. Look, I do not have all the time. Go fast and tell me why you're here. You're missing Remy. You see, it's just funny how you just come out from nowhere and all of a sudden you want to reclaim a child you rejected. Point of correction, I didn't reject my child. Good. Let's assume you did not reject the child. It's been eight years. Eight good years, Caleb. Um, naturally, I was thinking you'd be a little bit remorseful, you know, calm, crawling, begging. You know, but obviously that is not the case. Man, I don't care what went down between you and Remy. All I care about is my woman. I care about her well-being. I care about her mental health and her safety. Okay. Well, I... I just want to be with my daughter. That's all I want. Drop, Nothing else. Drop your pride. Bring down your ego. I see you're a very manipulative person. You're trying to make our child hate her, right? I'm not manipulative. Remy has short temper. Wow. So you know. You know Remy has short temper. And you're bent on triggering her to get reactions, right? Tima, I've been dating that lady for three years. And in that three years, not once has Remy failed to manage her temper. I just wonder how she manages to lose it when it comes to you. What did you do to her? I did nothing to her. And I don't have any business with you. Like I said, I just want my child. Fair enough. But I must warn you. If you make Remy shed any more tears, you would have me to contend with. And I promise you, I will come at you with everything I have at my disposal. You think so? Don't ever go to our house again. I don't want to see you in the house. Myself for being calm. That shows maturity. Um, so, were you able to speak with him? <laughs> no. Was it that bad? It was disastrous. Like, <laughs> I slapped him. No, 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 like that. So, why did you have to slap him? If you were in my shoes, you would have done the same. He provoked me. Remy. Listen, I know you are angry, okay? I understand. But the truth is, you've moved on, but you're yet to be healed. Girl, this is the best time for you to let go of the past and be healed. See, I do not want to talk to him. I don't. I do not want to talk to him at all. You have and I've to spoken to him. Benita and she's fine. She's not asking me about him anymore, so okay. everything is good. So because you think she's over it, you think that's it? Okay, what, what would Listen. you have me do? Since the first meeting didn't work, I may have to invite Caleb over to my office. I think I need to cancel you two. Mrs. Faith, I, I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to. Girl, do this for your child. Do this for yourself. Let go of the past and be a free person. Fine. Good. Do you do you have it too late? We do. I don't want to take a gift. I struggle to feel. You're going to be alright. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're alright. <laughs> so, you're becoming in, right? No, no, no. I'm actually rushing to someone. Our child's innocence is caught in the storm. 
But I'll find the strength My heart to reform Are you sure he's coming? Because we've been waiting for over 20 minutes here yeah. He texted me He'll be here in time, okay? Please, I'm so sorry for calling late. The traffic was terrible. Um, you're welcome, Mr. Caleb. Thank you. I sent an invite to you alone. Looks like you have company. Oh, yes. Um, well, she's... I'm here to make sure no lunatic puts a hand on my mind. Um, did she just call me a lunatic? That's what you are. Okay, come on. Don't, don't say that. Did she just call me a lunatic? I'm oh, sorry about that. Kind of, okay? Please. Is there something wrong with you? Maybe there's something wrong with you. Please, I'm sorry about that. Please. Please. Well, just calm down, alright? Mr. Callum, this meeting is between you and Remy. No third party, please. But let me tell you something. Make I clear off for now. I'm a street too. I'm a mean, waffy babe. I'm not a carry I'm a Chris. No, that's not me. I'm not normal. She did hear me. And if I finish with you, eh, your mind go dead. What is this? You beg for you. Of course, you're crazy. Please. No quarrel. Who does she think she is? Stop. Now. You must be very careful for getting us left in this meeting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, you can hear her cussing, yeah, right? You, you hear her cussing. Stop. And you want me to stop. Yes, Does that sound nice to you? You're stupid for making that kind of You're foolish. You're very foolish. foolish. You're very foolish. You're a stupid for a mother. Nonsense. Do you need something to drink? I'm good. Mr. Caleb, what were you thinking coming to this meeting with your girlfriend? I'm sorry, I actually told her to stay back, but she refused. That just goes to show how dumb both of you are. I didn't even say that. Really? Because she also came with your man on the first day of the meeting. Yes, for security reasons. I have not seen him in ages and you think I would just show up like that, unprotected? Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's okay, it's okay, guys. It's okay. Please, calm down. Okay? You two just need to calm down. Please, can we just get this meeting over with? I need to leave this place. As I'm sitting down here, I'm so irritated. I'm, I'm close to this, this heartless man. Look, what did I ever do to you to deserve this hatred? I'm going to punish you on that stupid question you just asked me. Can you imagine? Like, don't you have any conscience, Caleb? Like, see him sitting here showing no remorse at all. Like, he gave me money to, to give back to his daughter and raise her. Look, but I was, I was there for you when you were pregnant, but you told me to stay back. Five months. He showed up five months into my pregnancy. Five. And that was because his friend Timothy forced him to. Like, can you imagine? Caleb, you knew who my parents were. You knew how you knew how strict they were. Once they found out I was pregnant, they disowned me. I had to drop out of school. And mind you, I was in first year. I had to drop out of school. I had to halt everything that was going on for me. I just literally paused my life because I had to make money for my baby and myself. But this man had the guts to tell his friend Timothy that, that he, he can't settle with a short-tempered girl like me. That he's just using me to mark time. You say you came back to claim your child five months into my pregnancy. No problem. But you came just once. Yes, I told you to leave, leave my sight. I told you to get away. But why didn't you come back again? Why didn't you come back again and again and again until I accepted? Why? If you were really so passionate about being in your child's life, why didn't you come back again? I raised my child in a way that she didn't even, that she didn't care whether she had a father or not. Remy, that's not entirely true. Okay? But I'm not disputing the fact that some of the things she said happened. Okay. But we were both young. And of course she knows my family. My father was ready to kill me. 
I am not here to make excuses, okay? I accept my fault wholeheartedly. I wronged you. But I'm ready to take responsibility for my actions. Oh, I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. To hell with your apology. Look, I'm just here because my daughter wants to have her father in her life. That's all. Um, I like that you both get to hear the peace of each other's hearts. Okay? Now you know why she's so mad at you. And Remy, now you know why he did what he did. Eight years. Girl, that's so long. You are such a superman. And I need to applaud you. Take it up from here, please. Thank you. You know what? Look, please. Please. I don't want us to keep going on and on making excuses. I wronged you. Accepted. And I'm here to take responsibility for my actions. I'm sorry. Deep down, I am sorry for everything that happened. Please. Um, please. Okay. So that we don't keep this longer than it, it, it should be. It's okay when my daughter is such a weird that she didn't miss your absence. You know what? <sighs> Fine. You'll see your daughter. But I'll decide when and where. And you will not see her alone. Because I don't trust you. That's fine. Anyhow you want it. I am okay. Fine. Babel, I'm really worried about your child. I mean, is that the kind of woman that raised her? She's definitely going to turn out like her mother. Oh, look, I'm exhausted. Please. Don't talk about my child like that. Wait, oh. Hey. Don't tell me you're beginning to develop cold feet. Have you reconciled with her? Isn't that the reason for the meeting in the first place? Sophia, please, I'm, I'm tired. I'm oh, tired. I'm, I'm Sophia now. Whatever happened to baby? So you now call me Sophia. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking, no. Because if it's what I'm thinking, trust me, heads will roll. And it will not be my head, though. No. You're quiet. How do I look? I think you look overdressed. I mean, it's just a lunch with your daughter, so... It's not like what to impress anyone, do you? I know, but just tell me, is it nice or not? Just very simple. You look good. Please help me get the dog, please. Daddy's house. Um, you're so beautiful. All right, where do I start? Um, I'm going to start from introduction. Uh, that's my girlfriend. I know her. I know who she is. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. But, you know, Kotsu demands that I still make a proper introduction. Babe, that's my... Remy, just Remy. Thank you. So, my angel, that's 
Auntie Sophia. She's my girlfriend. Sophia, that's my lovely daughter. You're welcome, my love. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. You look so beautiful. You look exactly like your dad. <laughs> You're welcome. She's so pretty. Wow. So, uh... Well, let me just fix something, the lunch. I mean, a lot of... No, no, um, we'll pass on the food. Thank you. You can just get us a drink. Maybe you should speak for yourself, because I think... Maybe the little girl is hungry, so... Oh, I said we will pass on the food. Or are you dead? Well, let me just... Um... Did you hear that? Sorry for what? Listen, girl, listen. You are the most rude human being I have met in my entire life. I'm only trying to help you. You look starved. I'm sure so your entire village will never see the tattoo. Sophia, Sophia. So I'm just trying to help your life. What is unnecessary now, Sophia? What is unnecessary? Could you not see the idiots you have in your house? Can't you just act like you didn't hear nothing? Hard to my daughter. Oh, please. This is not shut nice. Up. I said shut up. You know what? You are the most despicable gold digging freak hey, hey, hey. I've ever seen in my entire hey, life. Hey, in hey. fact, girl, you are a bitch. Insult me one more time and see what happens. You are a gold digging freak of a mother. Your eyes. That is. Hey, hey. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm kidding. You slap me. How dare you? Who do you think you're talking to? To Venita. She doesn't look happy at all. Now you, what is wrong with you? Isn't it that that lunatic that Caleb calls his girlfriend, Sophia or whatever her name is, that yes. girl is a basket case. What happened? This girl had the guts to fight me. What? In front of Venita. Why? Oh, how would she do a thing like this? Her day must have been ruined. For her. My day was ruined as well. You know what, babe? I'm I'm exhausted. I just want to freshen up and rest. Honestly. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Why can't I have my moments? I... My stomach. What is happening to my stomach? I... My father is a handsome man. I wish he married my mom. My stomach. My stomach. Baby girl, I'm so sorry I ruined your day. Oh, you could have stayed. I know, but you saw how the whole situation was. Everyone was fighting each other and like... It was not a good place for us to be at. Okay, you know what? Um, okay, I'll reschedule and then I'll have this, one, this meeting maybe in a restaurant. Not at daddy's house. What do you say? Then call daddy. Okay, I'll call him. Thank you, Mom. For what? For letting me see my father and I am pray that you guys will marry each other. <sighs> Honey, um, your father and I have lots of issues. Hmm? A lot. And he has a girlfriend. And I also have someone in my life. Hmm? I've not been seeing Uncle Sam. Oh, that's because he traveled. But he'll be back soon. Okay. Okay. My baby girl. So Try up, eh? Feel. I struggle to forgive. I struggle to feel. It's hard to forgive. Daddy! Oh, baby. Oh. 
How are you? Fine. How are you, Kim? Fine. Sorry. Can you see? Can you see? Miller, I, I bought you this for you. You're welcome, my angel. Hi, baby. I missed you. Hmm? Dad, next week Thursday is my birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> so, what would you want Daddy to get for you? Hmm? I want to spend it all day with you. Oh, oh my love. No. Anything you want, you tell me. That will happen. But first, I need to discuss it with your mother. Okay? Mm. Is that all you want for your birthday present? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure. You want more gifts? Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, take the gifts to your room. Okay. I love you. Bye. Okay. I had an appointment in the neighborhood, so I stopped by to see you people. Okay, so. Well, I guess as usual, I'm not welcome, right? How are you guys, though? Good, good. Okay. I'll take my leave. Okay. That's okay. Oh. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. 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 So innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness. As my heart and. Caleb, I do not like this unannounced visit. No. I'm sorry I came very early. Just that I want to be the first to wish you a happy birthday. Well, it's okay. And um, thank you for the other day lending me your car. I'm oh, grateful. Come on, that's, that's nothing. So, do you want to go upstairs and see the birdie girl? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Benita. Happy birthday to you. Very good goodies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your cake is arriving in a minute. <laughs> what do you say to daddy? Aww. Aww. Okay, check your goodies, okay? Let's see them right here. Check. <laughs> She's still a bit, a little yeah. sleepy. The door is open. Hey. Where is the birthday girl? Oh, please. Look at when you are coming. Huh? 
I'm just supposed to be her godmother. My sister. Where were you since morning? Traffic was crazy. Why you should be so angry now? Of all this. You know how to appease her. You know how to appease her. Um, I got something good for her. Let me see. Mm -mm. Now for her, now she go show you. Ha. Okay. So, so that girl is upstairs. Let me see her. Um, by the way, Caleb is coming over for dinner. <coughs> really? What is it really? We have to bring us your goddaughter to No, but really, I think I like this. Thank you. Let me make a Careful! I will! Daughter is the most beautiful good daughter ever. Look at you. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Um, I am sorry. I know I came late. It's because of work. And then the traffic will just not let me shine. I am very, very sorry. You know, I will always want to be the first to wish you happy birthday. What's this look on your face? Well, I am glad you didn't make it today because my dad wanted to. Be the first person to wish me happy birthday and it did. Hmm. Tell me something. Your daddy was here today? Yes, and he bought a lot of gifts. Wow. And you like them? Yes. Okay. Well, this is mine. Okay. I hope you're not mad at me anymore. No, I'm not mad at you. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, anyways, I, I'm supposed to be here for the dinner, but I don't think I can, because of work. There's something I need to sign. I need to bring plenty of money. Hmm? Don't worry, when the money come in, you see this on my plate for you. Do you understand? Permission to go? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. Do you miss mommy sometimes? Um, Benita, you can't ask him that. No, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll answer her. My love? Yes. I do miss you and your mommy. Not even sometimes, most times. Um, Caleb, you don't have to lie to her, you know? No. I'm saying the truth. You see, my love, back then in school, your mom and I, we are inseparable. We used to be popular couples back then in campus. So yeah, I do miss the both of you most times. Yeah, okay? Maybe it's your food. That reminds me. Why is your boyfriend not here? Um, no, he traveled. He traveled. I see. I wish, I wish everything could be my birthday. Why? Because I want us to be like this. <coughs> sure. Sure, we we can. I mean, um, uh, if your mother permits. 
<laughs> okay, um, table manners, people. No talking while eating, so eat it. Let's talk. Caleb, you're just trying me. You're just trying me. I want to have a dinner with my daughter. That was what you said. And now you're not taking your calls. <laughs> you cannot even try me. Let me know if you don't what I'm thinking because, oh God. This, this guy get my do. I they call you, I they call you, know they pick my call. Tomorrow night you'll come back now. I call the young fire give me. You know, like say, I don't try yo, I don't try for this guy, yo. Huh. <laughs> Come say monkey, they walk babu the shop. Because oh, I don't invest my time for your life. No, so you're good, they go, they say they do dinner. The next thing I want to do two things. I don't know, monkey born to one die. If you tell me that story, it go bad for you. See, person, they speak English, but the person don't know what they do. What oh, stupid birthday dinner is this? Ooh, hey, hey, what are you doing? To clear the table. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll do that. No, Thank don't you. worry. What was that? I'm, no, I'm... you're my guest. So, don't worry. I will handle it. I will handle it. Thank you very much, Doc. <laughs> okay. Let's have more. Okay. Sister, do the dishes, right? That's my girl. You want some? Okay, love. Um, let me go upstairs and change something here. Yeah? Um, I'll be with you shortly. I'll also see you before I leave, okay? I'll come to see you before I leave. She's had a long day. Okay, honey, maybe she should just tell you good night so she can go sleep. So okay. Prepare. Come tell daddy good night. Okay, so. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, look, Remy, I... I know you're doing all of this for Vanita. I know you're still mad at me. I just want to know. What can I do to soften your heart? Uh, okay, um... Caleb, um, 
please don't um act nice towards me. It feels weird. But I can't stop being nice. No amount of sorry can make up for the lost years. By the way, I'm proud of the woman you've become. I'm proud of the morals you've impacted in our daughter. You did so well raising her. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I'm not asking you forgive me now. But I just want you to know that I'm very, very sorry for everything that happened. I'm sorry for the way I handled it initially. Anyway, no excuses. I just want you to know that I'm sorry. Please find a place in your heart and forgive me. Um, you know what? Your your girlfriend um is probably worried about you, so maybe you should get going. It's okay. I'll just stay. I'll just go and go to my room to spend more time. My heart and yours. Okay. Why did you come back? <sighs> you shouldn't have come back. Now why didn't you sleep there? You should have slept there. Don't baby me. I mean, look at the time. It's past 12. Who goes out to a little girl's dinner or birthday dinner and come back by this time? Babe, come on. It's not just a little girl. It's my daughter that I haven't seen for years. Okay, so why weren't you taking... It's a crime to spend time with her. You should have at least, at least answered your phone. I kept calling. Sorry, I didn't know my phone was ringing. You didn't know your phone was ringing and you expect me to believe that? Please, I'm tired. I, I need to rest. Please. So this is it now. Oh, God. You're tired. You need to rest, right? Of course, this is it. This is how it starts. You're tired. You need to rest. From going to your baby mama's house for a dinner to sleeping with her. I struggle to forgive, I struggle to feel It's hard to forgive When you tore us apart It shut up my heart I'll Come in, the door's open It's caught in the storm But I'll find the strength Hey! <laughs> Baby. Where's the baby girl? Where's Venita? Oh, and I thought this was for me. <laughs> no, this, is, this is for Venita. She's upstairs. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, Caleb came over for dinner yesterday. Caleb was here yesterday? Yeah. And you're just telling me? Well, I didn't think it was such a big deal, so... Oh, wow. Your ex comes to your house, spends hours with you, and you don't think it's a big deal? Okay, um, well, it was Renita's birthday, so she wanted to hang with her father. So, I didn't think it was such a problem. Oh, well, I don't want him coming here anymore. Okay. Okay, well... And please stop being friends with him. Hello, jealousy, is that you? Yes, it is. With my full <laughs> chest. I don't want him coming around you. Okay, oh? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. 
happened. So tell me, what else happened yesterday? Nothing happened. They were just, you know, eating and they were talking amongst themselves. Are you sure? I was just watching. No. You're sure nothing happened? Mm -hmm. Don't trust me, nothing happened. What happened? I heard the sound. What happened? What happened here? It fell down. It fell down. It fell down by itself, right? Just how, just look at how you've destroyed this. Just excuse me. Venita. 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 I, I, are you playing with me? Wait, open your eyes. What Venita. Is that? I, 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 huh? I, 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 I just told you she broke the vest and I was. I mean, I was. Huh? You did what? No, it was. I don't care. It wasn't intentional. I, I, I don't even understand. I just. Oh, God. God. What's happened? Bruce, are you okay? What is it? What is it? Talk to me. Baby, get the car keys. What is happening? Talk to me. Get the car keys. We're going to the hospital. Hospital? Speed up now, speed up. Baby, 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 calm down. I'm, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. Please. This is not fast enough now. Baby, baby, just put yourself together. Nothing will happen to her. Oh just, God. just be calm. Oh, God. oh God, please protect my children. Oh God, baby, it's... Baby, it's... Baby, oh, baby, please. baby, please calm down. Baby, baby just be just, 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 I'm going as, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh God. Oh, Benita. Oh, nothing, nothing will happen to Benita. She's healthy. My baby has been okay up to until today. Well, the result carried out on her. She shows otherwise. She, the result shows that two of her kidneys is damaged. How? How can someone be suffering from kidney disease without any symptom? That's what are you saying? We need, we need to act fast. She has just a few weeks to live. How can we get it? Uh, any of our family members' kidneys compatible can relate. Okay, doctor, take my Sure, sure. Let's go. Take my own. Oh, God, my baby. Doctor! Oh, please don't talk to me. Tell me no. That would be your, that would be your child fighting so hard for her life in that hospital bed. And you pushed her for, 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 for just, for flower vests. I didn't push her. I just, I'm, I mean, I just pushed her a little. It's not, it's not like I meant to hurt her. The girl is sick. Who 
sent from an ordinary push. You, mu you, you must be raving mad. You must be raving mad! Because you don't know what it takes to have a child. Yeah, insult me. Because you're heartless. I didn't know you're this heartless. See, you just need to stop painting me to be the bad guy here. You heard the doctor. Your child is sick. I didn't even beat her. I did not touch her. I swear it's in your neck right now. Are you mad? Don't you, you, you. Look, if you know what is good for you now, if you know what is good for your miserable life, go up there, pack your things and leave my house. What do you mean by pack your things and leave my house? What did I do wrong? I mean, is it my fault that she looks so healthy on the outside, but she's very sick on the inside? You should be thanking me because I helped you realize that your child is sick. I didn't do anything wrong here. Please calm down. Just calm down. You know what? Just leave, leave me alone. Just leave me. Leave me. Leave me. God. I don't know what you're doing. What have I done? Please. Oh, God. I am begging you. Please. I don't want you to break down. You have to calm down. Please. God has never failed you. He will not fail you now. God, please. Stop. Please. It's okay. Please. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just calm down. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry, madam. You can't be able to donate your kidney. From the results here, it shows that you have high blood pressure. Okay, doctor, I do not have high blood pressure. Like, what sort of hospital is this now? Please take my kidney and save my daughter's life. Madam, if we carry out any operation on you, you may not survive it. I do not care. Take my kidney and save my daughter's life. Remy. Don't um, remy me. What is he saying? No, um, doctor, please. What can we do? And we need to be fast. Something needs to be done. <sighs> Sorry, sir. It's God in the storm, but I'll find the strength, my heart to reform. Our child say the sense is caught in the storm, but I'll find the strength, my heart to reform. Our child, a precious gift, a love we both share, but the pain you cost. Makes it hard to be here. I stare into her eyes, so innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness as my heart endures. I question how you go hold us this way. Turn between resentment and the love we portrayed. For our child's sake, how rise above. I'll find the courage to forgive and to love. It's hard to forgive when you told it so shut up my heart. It shattered my heart. Our child's innocence is in the storm. The storm. But I'll find the strength, my, my heart, heart to, to reform. Our child's innocence is caught in the storm, but I'll find the strength my heart 
back to reform. I'm ready to risk it all. I'm ready to do all these things for you to stay alive. I will try. I'll try to heal. I'll try to feel. I'll forgive. I must forgive for peace. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. It shattered my heart. Sorry for keeping you ladies waiting. Doctor, I want to donate my kidney. I do not care if I die in the process. Doctor, just save my daughter, please. I'm sorry, mother. There will be no need for that. As a matter of fact, your husband has donated this thing. He did what? We are actually waiting for you to sign the necessary documents so that we can start operating on that. Doctor, please hold on. You mean Caleb has already donated his kidney already? Yes, madam. Okay, so we are the papers. understand the magnitude of what you've done for us. You've just saved our daughter's life. God bless you. I can't even thank you enough, like... How is she? She's doing great. She's recovering. Do you want to see her? Yes, please. Okay, I'll... Get the nurse to come, you know, check in there. Okay. So we can move you there to see her. Thank you. to do for my lovely daughter. Caleb, God bless you. God bless you. Like, you, you saved our daughter's life. Thank you so much. She's alive. Yes. God is good. Hey, Caleb, come in. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Oh, you didn't have to come all the way. Your wounds are still fresh. Ah, no, no, no. I just um, want to see my daughter. She's more important to me. <laughs> Both of you are important. So should I go get her? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, daddy. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Do you still drink more water? Oh, why? Don't mind her, she's been taking enough water. <laughs> why did you say no? Hmm? I missed you. I missed you too. Is there anything you want to tell daddy? No. How do you feel? 
feel better than you. I feel great, but I'm an adult. Have you checked up on Caleb recently? Um, no. Why? Well, I called him two days ago and he was fine, so... <sighs> Remy, you should talk to this guy like twice or three times in a week. <sighs> like, Anna, I don't want him to get the wrong impression or the wrong ideas, you know. I call, I text, I check up on him basically, and that's that. You don't want him to get the wrong ideas, like you don't want him to feel like you... Mm -hmm. But you're being know. selfish. This is being selfish, yes. He is no longer with his girlfriend, you know. Who will help him out? You know how delicate the operation he did this? Well, I know. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll call him and I'll find out how he's doing and... Mm -mm. You call him, mm -hmm. you visit him. I'll visit him. Yes. Uh, and you still cook. Yeah, he should have fruits, apples, like banana. Just give him something. Stock his fridge. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. You'll do that, right? I'll do it. Okay. I'm sick. I'm nice. So, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay. Let's go. Yeah. Um, how's Vanita? Oh, Vanita is good. She's good. So, have you had anything to eat? No. No? Yeah. That means I came at the right time. Because I bought food for you. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. That's so thoughtful of you. Oh, you're welcome. So I'll just heat this up for you, right? Oh, yeah, sure. So point me to the kitchen. Oh, that way. Okay. Nice. I'm working in Jiffy. so well when you're not a chef <laughs> well um the world has enough chefs already so i think they're good without me no of course they need you because what's this, <laughs> this is so delicious girl thank you thank you very much and i must um, also thank you for you know coming around the thought matters. You're welcome. So, I, um... I heard you and Sophia broke up. Yeah. You heard right. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. You <laughs> don't need to be sorry. Sophia is such a handful. And I can't let any woman come in between my daughter and I. Well, I get you, but Benita is okay now. She's fine. Hey. So you can call Sophia and patch things up. Can we stop? Enough of me, please. Let's talk about you. Okay. A boyfriend. I think he's a nice person. Oh, he is. Someone is amazing. 
he's so supportive. He's just God sent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank well, you. I'm happy for you. You already know I'm happy that you're happy. Yes, I do. And I want you to know that I'm rooting for you guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Speak of the devil. Oh, One okay. second. Hey, babe. <laughs> oh, I'm at Caleb's. Are you good? What? Um, sorry. Um, I, I, I think I have to take my leave now. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. Everything is okay. Um, I have to go. Oh, okay. Sorry, right. let me just... What, what, what are you doing here? Get into the car. I said get into the car. Just tell me the truth. Do you still love him? Baby, what kind of question is this? Don't play dumb with me. What are you doing at his house? Are you cheating on me? Hey, Jacoba. <laughs> this is not supposed to be funny. Baby, I don't understand why you're getting worked up. I did nothing wrong. I just paid him a visit. You paid him a visit? As, as what? No, tell me. You paid him a visit as what? Please, reduce your voice. Reduce your voice. I don't want my, my daughter to hear you. Baby. I don't care who's listening. The moment you started being unnecessarily nice to Caleb, I knew so, I knew so. Hey, 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 stop it right there. Stop it. Someone I don't have this nonsense, no. Ah, this is somebody that gave his kidney to save my daughter's life. If anything, you should be thankful. Ah, ah. I told you I paid him a visit. He broke up with his girlfriend, so there is no one to take care of him. I paid him a visit to check up on him. So tell me. What happened while you were there? Nothing. You really, Samuel, nothing happened. You really expect me to believe this crap? No, you expect me to believe this. Okay, okay. Baby, believe me. I would never cheat on you. You know what? I think you both deserve each other. Yeah? What are you trying to say? Because. So, are you breaking up with me? Baby! Baby! for you this past few months. Now it's I was thinking, it's hard it's hard I know I'm, I'm exhausted. But you know what? I'm just thankful so deep that deep. my daughter survived that horrible. Oh and my God. God is really grateful. So how is it going with you and Tamar? Tamar, yeah. I'm not going to speak in terms anymore. But what else is it? Whatever happens, I'm going to I think you and Caleb still have a chance. Oh, girl, this is the universe working it out for you too. I don't know about that. I don't know. As it is, I'm done. 
Makes it hard to be. I stare into her eyes, so innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness as my heart endures. I question how you go hurt us this way. Torn between resentment and the love we portrayed. For just sake, I'll rise above. I'll find the courage to forgive and to love. It's hard to forgive when you told us so far. My heart. It shattered my heart. I'll try to say the same. It's caught in the snow, but I'll find the strength. My heart to reform. Forgive, but I will try. I'll try to heal. I'll try to feel. I'll forgive. I must forgive for peace. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. It shattered my heart. I'll try to say the same. Let's go.